I sold my soul. Because there's a bunch of devil workers in Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood. And there's a lot of black of them, a lot of black folks too. And they be throwing up them signs, you see them, this, that, all of them. Watch the rappers, watch them folks. It's scary. It Shalom. Koholo you help by Shmion Shah by Shimur Karkadash. The bonds to the apostles, the bonds to the elders, the great millstone rule well and taught us his truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preaching his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of earth. Tabernacle David, hopeful elect and speckled bird. Once see shallow on. All right, the Lord is making a mockery out of you rappers. <laughs> and it just seemed like a hey, what the past two years, two, three. I know within the past year for sure. And the Lord's been taking out a whole bunch of these rappers, man. You know, y'all make that covenant with Delph. You know, you want to serve these other gods. You want to serve Satan, but all. All right. Hey, you got Rick and Pence coming to you. You know, <laughs> his last album was bu bulletproof. And it just goes to show you, you know, us in this truth, we have no respect for you celebrities, man. We don't look up to y'all, you know, y'all, y'all wicked, y'all do anything for that money, man, you know, there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that a, a bunch of these average people don't know what these celebrities have to do, they're doing a whole bunch of wickedness behind the scenes, man, and they showing you with their hand signs what they're doing, you know, that's, that's, part, of, that's part of the witchcraft, you know. It's, it's right there in your face. But Israel, you know, the majority of our people, hey, they they in the trance. They love these people, man. Hey, hey, the Lord's not a respectable person. You know, you're not doing the will of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah as a man preaching his word, giving out this wisdom, staying 10 toes deep in his truth, and doing it to the end. The Lord's going to take you out. That's what the Lord's doing, you know, and, and <laughs> these people also, they don't have any uh, in integrity as well. Like I said, that, that money, hey, they laid down in the bed with Esau, Edom, the devil, man. Make sure that cash flow keeps on coming in. They don't care about you, Jake. They don't care about you. I I, I saw um when this happened, uh, some reporter was like, you know, um, just trying to paraphrase what what they say. You know, um, you know the young Dolph. You know, he helped out the community, or you know, he 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 bought people stuff. Something something to that effect. All right, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say it like that. Something to that effect. Well, as a man, you're supposed to be giving out this wisdom, and obviously, hey, he was putting out that wicked energy, man. You know, get that money. And, and look at where that got you. And once again, the Lord is making a mockery out of you, <laughs> out of you rappers, man. Once again, his last album was bulletproof. You're not bulletproof. The Lord don't play no games, man. This is um, getting to the scriptures. This is Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Who perished being innocent? So that goes for little babies, little children, the elderly. All right. Anybody that passed away, hey, the Lord orchestrated that. But it also says, where were the righteous cut off? So, hey, you the righteous, you doing what the Lord telling you to do. He's going to keep you in his wings. Even as I've seen, they that plow iniquity. All right, these rappers out here. All right, the majority of our people out here, the two thirds. They don't want to listen to what we say. Hey, they think we crazy, but hey. I'd rather be <laughs> crazy for Yahweh Shai than, than for this world. Because look what it gets you. Gets you nothing, man. All right. Lord called uh, uh, by the foolishness of preaching. All right. So, yes, this is going to be foolishness unto the world. But it's okay, though. I'd rather be a fool for a Mashiach than to be a fool for these wicked ass people out here, man. Looking up to them. <laughs> And they out here doing all types of wicked wickedness behind the scenes, man. All right. Even as I seen, they that plow with nicotine and sow wickedness reap the same. By the blast of power, they perish. And by the breath of his nostrils, they are consumed. 
So you will be consumed. You will be destroyed by Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Whatever plague, death, hell, and destruction that the Lord set up. All right? But check this. This is what, what you're supposed to be doing. You know, once you come to this truth or hear about this truth. This is 2nd Ezra 14 and 34. Therefore, if so be that you will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive. And after depth, ye shall attain mercy. All right. Did, did, did these people subdue their own, own understanding, their mind? No. All right. They're still in the childish state. Get money, money, money. <laughs> Where that's going to get you, man? As the scriptures say, I believe that's uh, Proverbs 11 and 4, richest profit not in the... All right, so uh, the video cut off. So back to what I was saying. As I was saying, uh, Proverbs 11 and 4. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Just going to go ahead and read it. The video, like I said, the video cut off on me. Proverbs 11, 4, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. And, and was this rapper in righteousness? No. As you see from the picture, they were all up in that wickedness. All right. All up in that wickedness. So it's, 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 it's not going to profit you. It's not going to profit you. Matter of fact, uh, Luke 17 and 32, remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. All right? Did he lay everything down on the line for this truth, for this wisdom? No. That's why he lost his life. All right? Matter of fact, let's let's get this right here. This is um. Let's go to Matthew real quick. This is Matthew nineteen and verse uh, twenty three. Then said Yahushua unto his disciples. Verily I say unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. You see that? Why? Because their riches are comely. Alright? They can't they can't put a you know, like I said earlier, they, they do anything for these riches to stay stay in the spotlight. You know? They gotta do a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes. Alright, now now you did have some of our forefathers that were rich, you know, but the difference between, you know, the rich men of Jake today and our forefathers back then, hey, they at least they served the Lord. They they was 10 toes deep for Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. These dudes out here that's rich, like I said, they, their riches are before the Lord and they serving Satan out here. Matter of fact, this is, uh, let's go to this right here. It's the first Kings 22 and verse 21. And uh, Isaiah, it's like I'm messing up that name. The son of Ahab began to reign over Israel and Samaria, the 17th year of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, and reigned two years over Israel. Check this. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, and walked in the ways of his father. And in the ways of his mother, and in the ways of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. For he served by all. And this is what our people is doing. They serving Satan. They serve him by all. And worship him. Check this. And provoke the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai, power of Israel, according to all that his fathers have done. And guess what? As I read in Job 4, 7 on down, you know, and you're going to be taken out for serving Satan, for provoking the Lord to anger. And, and you don't want to provoke your, your creator to anger. Right? He's not going to, hey, as the saying say, I brought you in this world, I'm going to take you out. And that's what's going to happen to these people. Judges 2 and 12, and they forsook. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, power of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were round about them and bowed down themselves unto them and provoked Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to anger. You see that? That's what our people keep on doing still to this very day. 
<laughs> like Deontay Wilder <laughs> and to this day. <laughs> but check this verse 13. And they forsook the Lord and served by all and Ashtoreth. There's nothing new under the sun. So the same Jake's back then, ain't they doing it today? Serving these other gods. So the water y'all watch me outside. If you walking in that straight and narrow path, you know, verse 14, and the anger of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, was hot against Israel. Check what the Lord did, and he delivered them into the hands of the spoilers and spoiled them. That's why we in slavery today. That's why these damn heathens are over us to this day. <laughs> Once again, to this day. All right? Because our people keep on provoking the Lord to anger. You know, our people out here thinking that Babylon, a great America, is going to turn to the Holy Roman Empire. For those that don't know, the Holy Roman Empire is when our people, so-called black people, all right, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, we, we was ruling, all right, Israel was ruling, all right, and that's what they call the Dark Ages, and then Esau, Edom came back to power during the Renaissance period. All right. Why? When you do your research, our people were doing a whole bunch of wickedness. They weren't serving the Lord. So about that thousand year period and the Lord had enough and he was hot with us. So now we're in the hands of the spoiler. Spoiling us, getting rich off of our backs still to this very day. <laughs> All right. And spoiled them and sold them into the hands of their enemies round about. So that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. You see, the Lord took away our power. You know, you don't want to worship the Lord. So the Lord made us weak. Where, where so they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil. You see. They thinking, oh, I, uh, the Lord ain't come back yet. I, I ain't got punished yet. You know, read uh, what's that, uh, Ecclesiastes 8. You know, matter of fact, I'm, I may just read that after this, since I, uh, since I said it, as the Lord said, Slaki, as the Lord has said, and as the Lord has sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Nevertheless, the Lord, Yahweh Shemuel, shall raise up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. You see the righteous and the righteous is out here today. And only the elect is going to take heed. All right. But the rest, they're, they're not going to take heed. So, the, hey, once again, which I may just keep on reading in this as well. All right. And yet they were not hearken, hearken unto their judges. But they went a whoring after other gods and bowed themselves unto them. And they turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in. Obeying the commandments of the Lord. But they did not sow. You see that? They did not sow. All right. I'm just jump to the point. Um, verse 20. The anger of the Lord. Yehovah Shemel Shah was hot against Israel. And he said, because that this people have transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers and have not hearkened unto my voice. And that's why we kept getting Oppressed over and over, as you read, over and over. Since I quoted uh, Ecclesiastes 8, I'm just go ahead and get it. It's Ecclesiastes 8 and verse uh, 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts of the son of man is fully set in them to do evil, you know. So that's why you see our people are here. Oh, the, the, the Lord ain't came back yet. Hey, what y'all saying is madness, is foolishness, and they keep on doing their wickedness. But check this. Verse 12, though a sinner do evil in a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear power, which fear before him. You see that? At the end of the day, what we're doing, hey, it's for the long run. We can see it. We can see the kingdom of heavens around the corner. We we ain't got time to be be uh, uh, 
squalling around in, in, in sin, you know? But check this, but it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before power. So you're going to get that death, hell, and destruction, you know? So the Lord's out here, all right, you don't want to repent. He's tallying up your sins, your sins reach up into heaven, all right? And you're going to get that judgment. It's not going to be a quick and easy, painful death, man, for a lot of these people. It's going to be horrible, agonizing pain. As it says in the scripture, you know, just roughly paraphrasing, they shall seek death, but it's going to flee from them, man. You know, it's going to flee from them because you don't, you do, you do not want to serve the Lord. All right. Getting back on this uh, uh, rapper. Like I said, we don't have no respect for these rappers. These famous people are here. Isaiah 28 and 14. Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai, ye scornful men that rule this people, which is in Jerusalem. Hear this word. All right. Because y'all y'all the rulers of the people. Technically, the elect, all right, the, the 144,000 are the rulers of the people, but the people don't want to hearken unto the voice of the men of the Lord. All right, so the wicked men of Israel are the leaders of our people. Verse 15, because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, and hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood we are hid ourselves. You see, they think, oh man, I got this money. I'm serving Satan. <laughs> I got I got protection. You ain't got protection, man. You ain't got protection. Jumping down to verse 18. And your covenant with death shall be disannoyed. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. All right, your contract is going to be cut in half by Yahweh Bashmel Shah. And once again, hey, you're going to send those plagues, death, hell, and destruction, whatever the Lord has set for you, he's going to take you out. It's not worth it trying to be rich and famous in this world. This is not our rest, Jake. Understand, hey, it's in our spirit to love riches, to wear the gold chains and be flashy. But, you know, it's, it's, it's not our rest. It's not our rest, man. All right, so that's why don't be surprised when you see another rapper get hit. Another rapper get hit, more Jakes get hit. Jakes that are lollygagging in this troop, they going to get hit. All right, don't be surprised, man. All right, I'm going to just end it right there, Lord willing. It's edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shimon Shah by Shimon Karkadash. Wa Ababa Ba Shalom.